Today we're going to talk about crank length and why it's an important fit parameter that most people don't consider yet can be really helpful in a load of different ways. So first of all, let's debunk a myth about crank length that it's really important in producing for you producing power. Quite a lot of uh, people still believe like if you're a tall guy you should be on the longest crank possible because it's a long lever and it'll produce lots of power. But if you look at the research out there now, you have to go all the way down to 80 millimeters up to above 300 to see any difference in power production because of crank length. All it does is when you reduce your crank length from bigger to smaller is it changes your gearing and that's why your cadence picks up but you can correct that through your gearing. Now having established that crank length it can be changed without affecting your performance why would you do it? Well I'll talk you through a few scenarios. Say you're in a really 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 aggressive time trial position and you're very low at the front and your sound is quite high and you're on 175 cranks, you could be closing up that hip all the time every time the come, pedal comes to the top of the pedal stroke and every time it goes away it's having to go further. So if you make the, the crank small, smaller, actually your aero profile is less because the hole in the air that you're creating is smaller. It opens up your hip roughly about every 2.5 mil drop in crank length gives about a degree and a half to two degrees back to hip. That's really important so you don't feel like you're chewing your kneecaps, stops your knees coming up into your chest, can help you Dive breathing therefore because you're not getting as close and your diaphragm can descend and it stops your knees hitting maybe your elbow pads if you're in one of these aggressive time trial positions. So reducing crank length there is, has ob obvious benefits. The other people that might benefit from it is um, when you've bought a, a standard bike frame size and you've got maybe a longer back or longer legs and you're caught in between frame sizes Sometimes you want the reach of the frame, but it comes with a standard longer crank. You can reduce that crank length down and it helps it fit that bike fit you better. It can even reduce, and I've seen this to quite good effect, the total peak forces at the, at the saddle. So by making the crank length smaller here, you reduce the total movement that you have. So some people are rocking on the bike for no, no other reason. Sometimes that can really help them get more stability on the saddle. So it can even help with saddle pain. In finishing off on my analogy is if I have a really big box here and you want to and a small box here and we say we've got to jump onto that a hundred times but the outcome is the same you win if you jump onto it a hundred times which one are you going to jump on I choose a smaller one that's crank length so what are the three examples or scenarios where people might consider changing crank length I think if you've got a really good time trial position but you're really struggling with uh, tightness in hips when you get off the bike, feel like you're chewing your kneecaps and find it hard to breathe and sustain, stay in that position, consider keeping everything else the same about your bike fit but reducing your crank length. The second scenario of people is if you've been forever been told to pick up your cadence but for some reason can't change it whatever, it could be that you're on the wrong size cranks. Bigger cranks will obviously slow your cadence, so reducing that crank length as long as it fits in with everything else on your bike could help you pedal faster, and it might have been that you came with a stock or standard crank length that doesn't suit your needs. And the third instance is, people, human beings, as I've often said, are all asymmetrical. This is very symmetrical. So if you know you have an asymmetry, maybe from an accident, a broken leg, leg length difference, somebody's told you you've got something like that, and you're starting to get problems on the bike thrown up by that, for example, unilateral saddle sore on one side or knee pain on one side, consider reducing crank length because if you make the circle smaller that you pedal rather than the bigger one it's easier to control easier to do it doesn't make your asymmetry drive those problems as much as a, a bigger crank length and those are the examples